Hey, this is Alex from Amber Road, uh, Premium Mineral Beverage Reading this weekend. This season, I kind of expect Reading to be in the relegation battle still at the end of the year. Um, the expectation is that we're there. If we're not, then it's a bonus. And it's done a good job. Even though we've won three from the first five, the season's still kind of all just about surviving, really. It's, it's, there's nothing else which which matters this season. And um, if we are any higher than that relegation battle, then it's it's certainly just it's a bonus. It's not not anything which is expected. But the minute I think we've got the right manager, we seem to be showing some kind of defensive ability and organisation, which we just didn't have last season. And it's it's lending itself to this kind of like low block and siege style football that's given us these these last two home wins certainly. Um, and, and very quick counter-attacking football, which is it's not not bad to watch, um, but it, it does mean that the other team end up with a loss of the ball. Um, and I think as long as Ince doesn't kind of let momentum kick in, if we lose a couple of games in a row and we, you know, fold here and we start going down a path of losing four, five, six, seven in a row, like we did last year, it's tough to argue that anybody's going to be doing a much better job than he is at the moment. Uh, this season, so yeah, fingers crossed that we can carry on, carry on that kind of siege mentality that we've started with. Transfers this summer, we had a lot of ins and a lot of outs. I think we've made ten transfers so far, with a couple left to, to still confirm, and I don't, don't know how many outs. But the the main kind of I guess change has been that we've got an entirely new central midfield this summer. And it, it really feels like we've got a bit more steel and a bit more grit in there. Um, despite losing Rinomota and Laurent, we've added in Tyrese Fauna on loan from Forest and Mamadou Loom on loan from Porto. And then Jeff Hendrick playing as, a, as the third central midfielder as well on loan from Newcastle. And it, it feels like they've really gelled so far in the three games. Um, there seems to be a bit of cohesion between the three of them. It probably helps that we're playing two solid centre midfielders, like defensively. But um, yeah, certainly they they provide a lot of kind of cover for the back five. And then Tom Ince also signed in summer on a permanent deal for three years, which is a pretty good signing, I think. It adds a lot of hard work in that final third. He really doesn't give up. and He's probably our key player, in all honesty. Uh, at the moment, he always looks like he's able to create something, even out of nothing, really. Uh, the goal he scored against Cardiff earlier in the season was like a 25-yard volley and put it in the top corner. And he's done that a couple of times in this year already for, for Reading. So he's the sort of player who doesn't give up on anything as well. Like We'll see him just run and run all day. and You see him at the end of the game, it just collapses because he's just left 100% out on the field. Other than that, the other player to watch out for is probably Loom in central midfield, who's, who's come on loan. He's going to be involved a lot in terms of winning the ball back and a lot of pressure in the midfield to basically break up play and, and then push it forwards to the to the attacking players. In terms of style of play, we play 5-3-2 uh, with two wing-backs, so three centre-backs, and then we kind of play two defensive midfielders in the three and one Kind of floating in between the defensive and midfielders and the two strikers. It might change on Saturday, depending on whether Luke Shaw starts or not. But we play very fast, direct football at the moment. We don't really have a lot of possession. I think against Middlesbrough, we're going to have 20, 28 possession, 28% possession, um, 1 1 0. So we don't really hold the ball particularly. Um, I'm very, very happy to kind of like play in this low block not give up a major chance particularly and then play on the counter very very quickly and that's kind of been evident in all of our games so far where we've been at home at least and then away from home it's been rather and was kind of a, an aberration with the fauna down very quickly and the game just wasn't really there for reading and then against blackpool we went and won them down but after that we did dominate the game and we played slightly differently against blackpool but we've made at least another three or four signings since then, so it's difficult to kind of compare the two. I think we've sold around 1300 for the game or so. We've got the lower tier. Um, 
think it's the first time I'm going to have sat in the lower tier at Millwall away. So that's interesting. And I think there's a fairly optimistic mood around amongst Reading fans at the moment, having won the last two at home, especially after the kind of like aberration of losing 4 0 away at Rotherham and being four down by half time. The kind of expectation amongst the fans is that every player basically leaves everything on the field at the moment. And that kind of stems from where we've had the last few years of not seeing that on the field necessarily. So if we see like a last minute block or a you know, big tackle, that's what Reading fans are basically looking for at the moment. And it really spurs on the spurs on the crowd and the atmosphere if that happens. In terms of the game on Saturday, I think Mill will probably hold a lot of the ball against us and then we'll play in a very low block and try and hit you on the counter. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. It's difficult to say, really. Middlesbrough didn't create a whole ton of big chances against us, and Blackburn were very similar. Although they created a few half chances, didn't really create any big chances necessarily. So I think it will probably be quite a close game. If we can get our noses in front, maybe we can pick up a point. Um, I'm not overly confident of coming to, to the den and getting three points, but certainly don't think that we'll get absolutely destroyed either way. And um, if I was have to give a score prediction, I think I'll go over 1-1 one, one and Reading, Reading take a point away from home for the first one this season, which would be good.